Sam L and Thomas Halbert. Yay! So, Thomas finally dropped his video. The one that we thought might be an apology, but as he said on Twitter, I must say this one last time. My video today wasn't an apology video. I only addressed the only thing I hasn't addressed already. I will not be discussing this or explaining myself any more. If you did not like the video, you can write about it in your diary or something. Well, this isn't exactly a diary, but okay, let's get into it. Today I'm doing a Get Ready With Me because there's a lot I need to talk about, a lot I need to discuss, and um, we're going to keep it pretty positive this video, um, touch on some things that happened over the past month, but um, for the most part, keep it pretty positive, and I'm still going to try to be my funny, uplifting self. Your funny, uplifting self? Is that the self that accuses people of being on crack if they even remotely criticize you? If you are not already subscribed, I'd love to have you. Uh, I lost 30,000 subscribers, so I kind of need it. I know I talked about this in my last video, but these kinds of comments really do show me that Thomas Halbert does not care. The only thing that he does seem to care about are his subscriber numbers, which is just ridiculous. No, I won't disable comments. I'll just, you know, blacklist words and stuff. I'm sure he meant that at the time, but um, that didn't last very long, did it? You know, there's one thing, one thing I want to discuss in today's video, and I'm going to just get that out of the way because, you know, personally, I have, you know, moved on from the situation um, because, and I'll tell you why in a second, but um, it's still f not fair for me to, like, move on from the situation and not discuss it publicly and give you guys some tea. He's already moved on from the situation but he doesn't exactly make that situation clear. Yes, he does go on to talk about how he was a snake, and he does reference that he didn't lie, apparently, but there are no actual clarifications anywhere. It's great that he can move on, but it's less moving on and more sweeping it under the rug. I wasn't shocked or surprised when these videos and these when these audio messages and text messages came out, only because I knew how I was acting before they came out because not only did I catch myself doing it, but my boyfriend at the time caught me doing it, friends caught me doing it, and it wasn't a situation where, it was a situation where I had my boyfriend, like friends coming to me being like, Thomas, we don't like how you're acting. So I have been working on myself to become a better person for a month prior to any of this coming out. That's why I made that video. That's why I, you know, I wanted to hold myself accountable with a video. And, you know, obviously it wasn't fair of me and I was being a hypocrite at the time. I mean, I'm, I was being a hypocrite, period, you know, honestly, when it came to calling out other people for certain things, when it came to acting like I was better than certain influencers or I was the most woke or the most, you know, least scandalous and I'm the least snaky and stuff like that. Because I think, honestly, what it was, was me lying to myself, me kind of trying to make myself think that I'm a better person than I am. If Thomas really knew how he was acting, he would have addressed that in his original video. Instead, that video was only about privilege and racism. If he genuinely wanted to hold himself accountable like he claims, he would have been open and honest about how badly he was behaving in private and how he really wanted to work on himself. He's only spinning this narrative that he knew that he wanted to change before all of this happened because it's the only explanation that he can give that shows him in the best possible light. The truth is that he was willing to lie and throw here for the tea his friend of over two years, Manny MUA, Nikki Tutorials, Laura Lee, and even Nikita Dragon under the bus, all to suck up to Jeffrey Starr, who ended up rejecting him. Considering he later goes on in his video to say that he's always felt rejected, his spiteful behaviour here actually makes sense. It wasn't personal growth that made him make that video and those false accusations. It was pure bitterness. The best way I can explain it is that I'm a flawed person, just like everyone else. I'm a human being. I'm flawed. I'm flawed like, the, like you watching this. I'm flawed like every single human being on this earth. That is true. Everyone is flawed. 
But if Thomas' behaviour was relatable and an ordinary kind of mistake, he wouldn't be losing thousands of subscribers over this. When Manny MUA was accused of social climbing, he had to take a break from social media and even attempted a comeback documentary. He looks like an angel compared to Thomas in this situation. If Thomas saw this as a real mistake that he genuinely wanted to fix, he wouldn't downplay it so much. He would just own it. But he hasn't. Go figure. You know, I have always been completely open and honest with my past. I want to thank Ashley Kyle for the next two screenshots, and I'll link her video down below, because I think she's right, and we need to remember these receipts. On the 24th of August this year, Thomas tweeted, I'm so grateful I was raised in a school full of so many different people with different cultures and backgrounds. I'm so grateful to have learned better at a young age. I'm so grateful I was raised by a hippie mother who taught me to love everyone and to not judge anyone. But back four years ago, he said on Facebook, I used to be extremely racist growing up because I'm surrounded by racists and I was brought up in a family where racism was okay. Obviously, I keep my comments to myself and give people the benefit and the doubt, even though I don't particularly like that race, because everyone's different and you might just end up liking that person. I don't know. Pick one, Thomas. It just sucks that my mistakes were publicized, but it's also like, well, you reap what you sow, you kind of had that coming, and I totally accept that and I agree with that. I would hope that how I try to carry myself now and how I try to continue to change and call myself out and be very self-aware for the most part. This would be great if Thomas actually was self-aware, but to me, this sounds like he's just throwing out words to see which ones stick. I mean, he still thinks that he's open and honest about his past when he absolutely isn't. For it not being an apology video, though, he does talk about his mistakes. Just not the ones that we actually want to hear about. Like, for example, his disgusting behaviour towards Gadget Beat 30, the woman that was, uh, allegedly scammed after winning his giveaway. Back on the 13th of October, referencing his original racism video, Thomas said, I'll be making a video apology to the giveaway winner soon. I have apologised to her via DM a while ago, and obviously I should have put it in my video, because it would have been another good example of me enabling. So I plan to put it in a vid. She deserves more than Twitter. But there hasn't been anything about that in here, has there? No mention on Twitter, nothing in this totally not an apology video. Does that mean that a real apology will come soon? I doubt it, considering he's moved on now. I'm not going to sit here and say I'm a liar, because I know I'm not a liar. I stand in my truth, and I stand with, I stand by every last little thing that I've said on this matter. I just don't agree with how I handled it. I don't agree how messy I was. I don't agree with how messy I was behind the scenes. I don't agree with any of that stuff anymore. Again, Thomas only says, on this matter. He doesn't mention the accusations or any of the specifics. If I was sure that I was right about something, I would repeat it to prove myself. But maybe that's just me. Thomas has put the racism video back up though, with the likes and dislikes bar and comments disabled, but we have all seen the receipts. He's desperately trying to salvage his credibility, but um, horses and barn doors spring to mind. It sucks that I lost friends during this situation, but at the same time, I feel like this huge situation was a lesson for me to be a better person. Whether people want to stick by me during that journey or not, like, it's, I don't care, because I know that this whole situation that blew up in my face, it's a learning lesson. Thomas lost friends, all right. Here for the tea stated in public that she wanted to clean house, and they're not following each other on Twitter anymore. It's just incredible to me how selfish he is. Even though he made this mess because of his own bitter streak, it's still somehow all about him. It's not about the people that he hurts somehow. There's not one tear shed, not one quivering word, just references to how anxious he's feeling. I do believe him when he says that he doesn't care about losing friends, though. I don't think that he has friends. Honestly, I think that he has people that are useful to him, people who validate him, 
and he'll jump to whoever gives him that. Um, but no, like I'm 21, not to use age as an excuse, but honestly, age is an excuse. I'm 21 years old. I'm still a fucking child, whether you like it or not. I feel so much secondhand embarrassment from hearing this statement that I might actually sue. 21. A child. Is he for real? Just Thomas. Ugh. It's not okay to use trauma or anything like that as an excuse, even though trauma is an excuse. You know, what you're raised in, your environment is, who you are is your environment, if that makes any sense. There trauma, mental health, upbringing, those are all explanations for bad behavior, not excuses. If they were excuses, we wouldn't arrest the people who had had a bad start in life when they break the law. Thomas. Stop. I am begging you. Please stop. There was an influencer, I think it was Gabby, who did a Snapchat rant, which was interesting because I've never had a conversation with him in my life. I've never even followed him before. So I was like confused by that one. But I try to keep away from the toxicity that was a lot of drama channels, a lot of meme channels, a lot of um, Twitter posts and stuff like that. I was completely off of social media. Um, so I had a lot of friends come to me telling me what was going on, um, just to keep me updated. So, you know, Gabby was right in saying that I played both sides because I was playing both sides. I guess Thomas is salty that Gabriel put up a Snapchat saying that mental health isn't an excuse, but I don't think Gabriel cares. Neither does Jeffrey. Completely off of social media, though. Is he serious? He was on Twitter constantly tweeting and deleting and blocking anyone that criticised him. But I suppose this is just a lie for all of the subscribers on YouTube that don't have Twitter accounts and can't double check. And if you care to have an explanation, then listen up. But if you don't care to have an explanation, if you feel like there's no explanation, there's no excuse for my behavior, then uh, you can bounce. I uh, guess we can bounce then. The rest of the video honestly isn't any better. Thomas makes it all about himself and then goes into talking about his eating disorder. I'll say the same thing that I said on Twitter though, deliberately triggering trauma, an eating disorder or anything like that is absolutely evil. Thomas doesn't deserve that and I will totally support him against anyone who tries it. At the same time though, making this excuse heavy video and then jumping in to how his mental health is and how his disorder is doing is a manipulative tactic to try and make viewers feel sorry for him. No. Sorry, Thomas, that isn't how it works. You don't get to behave terribly and then get a free pass by relying on your struggles. This is exactly why he is still losing subscribers. I do hope that he actually grows up and becomes a better person, but I'm not going to be holding my breath for the time being. I know that this was a bit of a chopped up video containing some of my thoughts, so I'll link the original in the description so you guys can watch it, think about it, then give your thoughts in the comments below. Different opinions, as always, are totally welcome. So like, comment, subscribe, ring the bell, or don't do any of those things because I'm not your mother. And as we say in The Sims, dag dag.